Hi, welcome back to Family and Fit, where we talk fitness and how to integrate it in your busy lifestyle. So I just made a video uh, about how I'm going to start integrating traps into my uh, routine. I'm currently doing a push-pull legs rest, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give up one of my rest days uh, and uh, integrate traps and do a trap-focused uh, workout. It's just something that I've never focused on this entire uh, year and a quarter that I've been working out and it's something that does make you look massive and something I really want to focus on. The objective of this video here is for me to kind of go through my thoughts and opinions on what I believe, uh, what I'm feeling, and what I feel like I should do uh, with this workout. I, I feel mentally I'm, I'm a very advanced lifter. Uh, my body is not quite caught up with my mental um, and I say that because I, I have so much knowledge of fitness, it's just I haven't implemented it for a, a tremendous long uh, period of time. I, I generally do a very well, a very good job with uh, performing movements and having a very good mind muscle connection and being able to go to pretty much any exercise, be able to fill the muscle out and uh, execute it in a way that actually causes that muscle to grow. Uh, I feel like I've made pretty good results over the past uh, year and a quarter. The first like nine months was literally nothing but a cut. I was cutting weight the entire time. It was a slow cut, but uh, I was still able to gain quite a bit of muscle. I got all the way down to 135. Now I'm in a bulk and I'm currently back up to 150. Um, and I, I essentially, I don't really hardly see any fat percentage gain, hardly any at all, maybe one, two pounds at most. I just really want to kind of walk you guys through everything that's going on in my head as I lift this workout. And how I'm building my mind muscle connection and the different things that I'm thinking of. I'm using a very, very light weight, especially for shrugs, but that's what I'm gonna do for this first probably couple months, maybe three or four months, will be nothing but using a fairly light weight and just getting that good mind muscle connection, filling out what, what is really going to maximize my gains and what's gonna make me fill this movement in my traps a lot. I've already hit a few sets. One thing I'm kind of already noticing is that um, I fill up my traps a lot, but I also fill up my lower back a lot. What I'm doing here is a, it's a rack pull, and it's very good for loading down with a lot of weight. I just want to practice this rack pull because I've seen a lot of people suggest that the rack pull is a very good way to build your traps. And it's just easy for me to not have to do much other movement and not involve as many muscles. Uh, the less muscles you have act activated at one time, the easier it is for you to focus and target down on a single muscle that you want to target. Something that I've already noticed with trying to do shrugs, or not, not necessarily shrugs, but these rack pulls, uh, I'm, I'm not even really doing shrugs. I'm just doing, I'm doing an exercise and focusing on the traps. I'm not gonna even call this exercise any sort of name really, even though it is the rack pull, and whether you're just doing a rack pull and pulling it off or you're shrugging with it, um, I'm going to do both, and I'm doing both because you have to fill out the mind-muscle connection of it. I'll do them in different orders and whatnot, and switch them back and forth. Some sets will just be one, some sets will be another. And I, like I said, I just do that just to get that good mind-muscle connection in. One thing I really noticed, before you pick up off the rack, get a really good stretch on your traps. Kind of close your eyes and think about it. And I I'm, I'm essentially got this weight off the rack right now. Um, I'm just letting my, my arms hang like a hook. And I got my shoulders rolled, rolled over a little bit. Uh, I feel like when you you're, let your shoulders roll over, uh, kind of roll over in towards your chest a little bit, that it stretches out on your traps and really allows for a good movement. I almost feel better letting this weight bounce here. Like feeling this movement here, like no shrug at all. I'm just literally letting it bounce. Um, and I'm almost, I'm not even really stopping it on the eccentric at all. I'm just letting the, uh, I'm letting the weight just yank down on my traps. And it's like, <sighs> that's one, one of the major movements of the traps is to, uh, it's kind of to stop your shoulder from being pulled out and, and just kind of holding your arms in the position they're in. Uh, a lot of people, you know, think that they're very good elevators, but there's a lot of scientific studies that show that uh, the traps are not actually activated very well as an elevator exercise, which is doing something like these shrugs. It, it is effective and it does work, but it's not the most effective. I feel like you really need a good stretch on your traps to get them activated 
and it is one of the hardest muscles in your body to get activated. And I think that's kind of one of the challenges of why I wanted to do this. It's kind of going along with um, my hoe not doing isolated arm movements. I don't do uh, tricep push downs. I don't do uh, bicep curls. I've literally only done a few sets throughout this whole entire year and a quarter working out. And I only did them just to switch up the workout. And I'm not doing them because it's kind of like an experiment with my own body to uh, determine if you can build some massive arms without doing any isolation movements. And on top of that, I want a very genetically uh, appeasing body. There's only a couple of things that I think I want to look a little bit unnatural, and that may be my traps and my shoulders. I am a natural lifter, but I, I kind of want to put a little emphasis on those muscles just to make sure that they do not lag behind and that they are definitely a part of my body that stands out. And I'm just feeling super, uh, I feel super challenged by doing the shrugs. I've just always hated it. Um, when I used to do fighting, I always thought in my head, I was like, I was like, if I build my traps up, that's just gonna be like an extra pound or two of muscle that I'm gonna have to uh, cut down in fat whenever I go to do weigh-ins and whatnot. So I just completely uh, disregarded the traps altogether. And I actually disregarded back a lot. I didn't get really get into back too much. I really love back workouts uh, until lifting this, this time around. So I just really like the hang and the bounce. I can really feel, and I'm almost, if you push your shoulders down more, like rotate them around really freaking hard, uh, it really stretches on the, it really stretches on the traps. Like I said, this video is mainly for, uh, for y'all to kind of know what's going through my head as I'm trying to learn mind muscle connection. So I'm just really just, I'm just doing weird stuff. Like I might lean back a little bit and pull more. I might lean forward and pull more. And I'm just feeling where is the right spot to get the most activation. Like from here, from leaning back in more of a seated position and, and putting force on, I feel it up higher on the track. Whereas if I'm leaned over it a little bit more, if I'm leaned over the bar a little bit more, and I lift up like that, I feel it more in the back of the trap. It's still on the trap, but it's almost as if the, the trap was two different muscles. I feel like in a more seated position, may focus on the height a little bit more, uh, just by the way the mind-muscle connection feels with it. There you can see I was kind of just doing some rotation of the shoulders, um, just mind muscle connection. I'm just filling it out. I'm feeling if I'm in more, do I feel it more? Uh, it feels like when I'm in that upward position, my traps are a little bit less activated back here uh, than here. I feel like my entire traps are activated in this position, whereas here, uh, I feel like it starts to um, really focus on my upper back a lot. My muscle connection is something that's gonna have to be practiced a lot. You're gonna have to do this time and time again and, and spend a good couple hours of just lifting this up, doing this, setting it back down. Essentially, don't even worry about trying to work out and make muscle. Uh, that's what I think a lot of people, they make mistakes is, they just pick up weights, they see people lifting and they pick up weights and they just move them in the same way somebody else is moving the, the, the weights around. That's why you see some people that are just sloppy because they don't realize they're doing, they're lifting a certain way. That's why that's why a lot of people just aren't making gains because they don't have that mind muscle connection. Like if you, if you could have one thing besides just staying consistent with going to the gym and being intense, it would ha be having a mind muscle connection. And, and the intensity comes in a lot with the mind muscle connection because you can't you can't be intense on a certain muscle if you don't have the mind muscle connection. It's, so it's, it's just such an, an important factor. Uh, when it comes to gaining muscle and being able to lift heavy and whatnot. That's a, this is also uh, another reason why I'm doing these a little bit more because I want to start doing some more stuff like the deadlift, more powerlifting exercises uh, just to gain some extra strength. It's not something I want to do all the time, but they're like some lifts I'd like to do once a month or something like that. Maybe incorporating them into like leg day or back day or just maybe now that I'm doing this shrug day or not shrug day, but traps day. Maybe since I'm doing this traps day, 
that I'll, uh, I'll, I'll implement some of that stuff uh, on those days too. Doing some more like farmers carries, uh, different stuff like that. But right now I'm just gonna focus with the bar. I'm not gonna really focus with anything else just yet. Um, just because I want the mind muscle connection on this and what angle is this. I mean, literally, I'm probably gonna do this for a few sessions before I even switch anything about it. Um, I'll probably stay the same weight and just keep playing around with it. I, you know, that's, I'll probably change the weight though. After a couple of weeks of doing this, then, then then I'll get into uh, maybe adding some weight on or taking some weight off, just to see how the muscles reacting to it. I noticed earlier when I was lifting heavier, I had about 70 more pounds on here. I didn't feel it near as much. I couldn't. I didn't really feel it in my traps near as much. And I don't know what the deal is with that. I don't know if it's because I was getting a lot of pain in my hands from the uh, from the bar digging in. Uh, I'm not used to lifting with the bar like this, so my hands my hands ain't calloused up well yet. And uh, one thing I really like is is uh, so I go to like a relaxed position, I set in, and I really pull on the, I'm, I'm pulling on the weight as if there's actually no um, no weight left on the rack. So essentially the rack, the, the bar is almost floating right now. Uh, there's probably any weight on the rack, I'm kind of holding it. Uh, there, it is touching still, but I have most of the weight on my traps right now. I can just feel them. Uh, and there's like just hooks, and then I'm just lifting up and just adding a little thrust to it. Um, I'm kind of liking the, when you start off here and you cock back, you can feel kind of the muscle fibers uh, fire on back as you, as you go up, or actually they're firing from back to forward um, as, you, as you're going back, up, or as you're going back in an upright position. Gonna continue to try different things out. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video, uh, and I'll and I'll just keep y'all updated with my traps and how, how my traps are coming along. And uh, hopefully one of these days I'll have massive traps, and then people will be like wanting to see exactly what I'm doing and what what uh, exercises I did and the mindset I had whenever trying to lift. Um, and this exercise is great for anybody because this strategy that I have will help with any exercise. And further videos also I'll apply. I'll uh, I'll kind of mention new strategies that I'm trying, such as like adding more weight or um, maybe trying different hand grips on the bar, um, different things like that. But you want to implement small changes uh, unless you just don't feel anything at all. If you don't feel anything at all, then, then make drastic changes until you start feeling it in that area and then try that out for a while and then focus on well, how can I feel it even more? How can I get even more of a burn? How can I feel even more muscle activation? And uh, just continue on. So there's one, something that I notice, like a lot of times whenever I have a muscle that starts to burn a lot, it'll actually stop burning and it's because like another muscle would have taken over. Like when I very first started lifting, it, certain muscles after one starts burning, it, they will go ahead and step in and uh, be the primary mover. Like a lot of the chest, the chest happens easily. Um, so like my chest would start burning like it was going to be the one to fatigue and fell first but then you know at rep 8 my chest feels like it's, it's going to be the one to give and then I hit 12 reps and my tr my triceps are the ones to give out on me. So it's really weird and in those last few reps you don't even really feel your chest anymore. Um, it's just something weird the body will do if you don't have good mind muscle connection. Yeah, that's another reason why I'm going ahead and lifting lighter is uh, I feel a lot in my lower back just from that small movement there. I don't do a lot of squats or leg exercises right now. That's something else that I'm kind of implementing in uh, more seriously this year. But uh, I don't want to hurt something like my lower back and put me out of commission for a while. So I want to make sure I'm, I'm getting good activation down there. I want to I want to give my back time to build up so I'm able to lift heavier weights and not hurt myself. 
Um, something very important for people to do is to make sure they're not going too heavy in weight immediately. You get, need to get your mind muscle connection down before you try to lift heavy weights. So guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want to follow along with some more of my trap workouts or just my overall physique progress, I post a video uh, once a month that's uh, an update of my progress. My fiance does uh, pregnancy updates. She's going through her uh, transformation after having, having our baby. If you have any questions or anything like that, make sure you're uh, getting into the comments down below and letting us know uh, what you want to know. If you just got some comments of, of your own that you want to kind of um, apply to the group and anything, if you've done traps and you've got decent traps, uh, we're always willing to accept more knowledge on the channel. That's all. That's what our whole focus oh, is to educate people. So anybody out there who has information, uh, we're always willing to listen. Make sure you subscribe if you want to follow along and. Uh, Y'all have a great day and keep getting lean and buff and shit. And fit. And fit. <laughs> <I like> that. <laughs>